Good morning. Clint here from uh, Ecom Fire. Just one sec. <laughs> so this is going to be an, e <laughs> an interesting uh, periscope. Okay. G'day B Fitty, how's it going? So yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting periscope. I'm I'm here. Uh, g'day, uh, what is it? Charties, how's things? Yeah, g'day, how's it going, B Fitty? You living the dream, buddy. So yeah, um, today. Bear with me today. I'm not sure how this is going to go. There's how's it going, Davy boy? There's a. Uh, a lot of people off work here in Thailand today, so I, I expect to get interrupted. So if it happens, uh, just be aware that that might be might be the case. So anyway, today I'm just going to uh, sort of interested in talking about uh, sort of a book that uh, <clears throat> I mean, there's a million different books that I've really enjoyed. G'day guys, thanks for joining. What is it, Emag? How's it going? Yeah, uh, really. A book that really changed changed my life, and for people that are um, Australian, you'll know you'll know who I'm talking about when I'm referring to this book. Um, but it's called uh, uh, G'day Syria. How's it going? Thanks for joining in. Um, yeah, today I'm just giving a bit of a book review. Uh, well, not so much a not so much a book review, but something that sort of inspired me as a young lad um, to become an entrepreneur and uh, anyone who's an Aussie, g'day, what is it, Man, Mansurizi, <laughs> Mansurizi, yeah, uh, anyone who's from Australia will know exactly what I'm talking about and if not, um, it's an inspiring story either way. So <clears throat> the book I'm talking about is The Rise and Rise of Kerry Packer, okay, um, this guy, he, essentially he come from a, uh, you know, a really wealthy, wealthy family technically, but his old man Frank Packer, he started with nothing, right? He started with absolutely nothing, this guy. Um, Frank Packer. He, and he built an empire, $500 million empire. And this was in the, you know, obviously uh, just after the war kind of thing. And uh, g'day guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining. And uh, yeah, so Frank Packer, he he started with nothing. And it, it, the way he got started is he, 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 he uh, one or the, as the story goes, he, he won a whole heap of money on the on the on the racehorses one day, uh, and he went and bought a newspaper, <laughs> you know, a publication. So that's how he got started, and he built that into a uh, five hundred million dollar empire. Okay, but the the story really is is about Kerry Packer. He's the most interesting one. He's 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 the most interesting part of the whole story because that's his son. That's his son, Frank Packer's son, was. Uh, well, is Kerry Packer, okay? So anyone in Australia, g'day Ivan, how's it going? Anybody in Australia knows who the Packer family are. They're, they're Australian royalty, I suppose. Um, they're political influencers, they're, they're renowned gamblers, um, and, you know, they're, they're forward-thinking kind of people. G'day, what is it, uh, T Y T Killian? How's it going? So, yeah, um, but... As a kid, Frank, uh, um, Frank, Frank Packer used to pick on his son Kerry endlessly. He had, they had a few other boys, and Frank, uh, sorry, Kerry was just the runt of the family technically. And um, this is what inspired me so much. This guy, he was never earmarked to to be part of the business in any way. He was never he was never earmarked uh, necessarily to to take over the family business and. Frank was just the base. Uh, sorry, Kerry was just basically the, uh, you know, the runt of the family. Technically, get a cheese, cheese dip seven. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and it's just a super inspiring story. I mean, you think about um, what Frank K Kerry Packer did. Once he took over the business, he took what he what his father had built, which was you know decent media em empire. And uh, get a cheese dip. You're back again. How's it going? And. Uh, yeah, he, he he turned that into a multi-billion dollar multi-billion dollar business, and um, that's the you know uh, t you know like he become the first billionaire ever in Australia, um, which is really interesting. But what he did is he he, he he really turned the fortunes around on hold on motorbikes going crazy. I told you to be on for young and old guys. <laughs> anyway, what do you do? 
So yeah, and you mean he, he owned Channel Nine in Australia, and one of the most interesting things he did, and because I'm a massive sports fan of um, of cricket, and uh, if, the, if there's any Americans on on the line here, you might not necessarily follow follow cricket or even know what it is, but it's, I guess it's your, you know, uh, international version of baseball, I guess. Um, a lot of the countries in the world that are part of the British uh, Empire play play cricket I guess so anyway he revolutionized that one of my uncles actually played with in the World Series so yeah great game there we go boys yeah um what are we England there we go you know God save the Queen eh <laughs> my old man's from England so it's all good yeah so great game cricket yeah um, and, you know probably even as, as a pom you'd, you'd know um you'd know Kerry Packer I mean he absolutely revolu revolutionized cricket um completely uh, and developed the World Series of Cricket. Um, you know, blokes playing, uh, blokes playing cricket in their pajamas, <laughs> so they say. Nice, colourful uniforms. Um, one of my uncles actually played in in that. Lenny Pasco is a fast bowler for for Australia. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he completely revolutionised the game. Um, he built one of the first casino in Australia and massive, you know, massive, massive casinos. Um, he was also a uh, a world famous gambler, a world famous gambler. He'd get on his private jets and um, head off over to Vegas, and um, they used to love and hate him over there. Uh, he'd go and drop thirty million on the tables, and uh, you know, uh, win or lose. But uh, the, the the casino had to make sure that <laughs> the uh, vaults were full when Kerry rolled into town because he uh, renowned renowned gambler. Um, Super famous. G'day, what is it? S Sendy, Sendy KRVA. That's interesting. Um, so, yeah, uh, another it was a, another thing about Kerry, though, is he really started, I mean, even though he come from his father, who, who had a really big, uh, you know, the family was, re you know, reasonably well off at $500 million, but, $500 million, but Kerry, he invented, reinvented the, uh, the family business and from nothing in a lot of ways. I mean... <clears throat> he almost, they almost, he almost lost it all by taking a lot of risks. So the point I'm getting at is, by reading that book, um, it just, it really got me interested in in uh, being an entrepreneur um, from a very early age. I mean, I think I read it when I was 17. Uh, probably read it twice since. Um, uh, and it's, he's just a, it's just a amazing story of guts. You know what I mean? And just sort of proves that anything's possible, uh, you know, if you, if you want it bad enough. I mean, he was always in his father's shadow for for, for most of his life, and uh, he, and yeah, he just he he rose he rose to the challenge and pro, pro, you know proved his dad wrong because he was never earmarked for the business. Um, at the end of the day, his older brothers ended up throwing it in; they didn't want to do it. He took over, um, you know, and his old man wasn't necessarily happy about it. So, hold on, there's uh, what do we got here? Ice creams, crazy. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, that's a quick quick uh, review of uh, Rise and Rise of Kerry Packer. Interesting book. Um, other books you might want to check out. Um, sort of Think and Grow Rich. Other books. Uh, another another really good book is The Four Hour Work Week. Um, sorry guys, it's on for young and old here at the moment. <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, it's kind of interesting that. And uh, another four hour work week is an excellent book. I just mentioned that, I know, but um, that's another one of my you know, all time favorites. If you ever want to read an interesting, inspiring book to sort of think outside the nine to five grind, go and check that book out for sure. Um, the Rise and Rise of Kerry Pack is a bit of a, you'd have to be an Aussie or I guess it may be even a POM to, to really get into it. But it, I mean, the, the essence of the story is epic. Um, that family, that family's just, you yeah, know, awe-inspiring, um, uh, especially Kerry, mate. He's, he's the main man. Heavy drinker, heavy smoker, just the main man. He's, he's the boss for real, you know. Um, played hard, <laughs> gambled hard. He was the man. So, anyway, um, if you want to sort of find out what we're up to, um, Econ Fire, you, you're tuning in now. How's it going, Todd, Todd Russ and Holt? How's it going, buddy? Um, want to sort of check out what we're up to. Um, we we at Econ Fire provide a um, whole heap of free content uh, online. Hey, from Vancouver. That's the way, buddy. How's it going? 
Hey, uh, Todd, do, do you know cricket or not? <laughs> As a Canadian, you might. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so if you. So, what are you doing over there? Hello from Tours. Yeah, okay, what am I doing over there? I live here in Thailand. Um, so, what the idea is, uh, well, I'm, I'm location independent. So, what the idea of um, these videos are, and. Uh, and uh, you know, Fire generally is just sort of share our content, show how we what we what we do for a living. Um, we use a, a, a business model called drop shipping, and we also do fulfilled by Amazon. So we we provide via these videos and uh, across all our different social media platforms, which is obviously Facebook and Twitter, Snapchat. Check us out on Snapchat. A bit of cricket heading in India. That's that. Oh yeah, beautiful, mate. Go to go to the games in India. They are, they are mental. Yeah, oh, mate. They're the biggest fans of cricket there are. Definitely go and check it out in India. Unbelievable. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting off track. But um, yeah, but yeah, Snapchat and that. Check us out on Snapchat. And uh, anyway, if you want to follow along, you, we we find a whole heap of information. Go over to econfire.com. Check it out. Um, we do. We got podcasts. So you go to the econfire podcast and you can listen to you know all our all, all our stories and antics. Actually, the first one went live yesterday. So check that out. Um, but yeah, being over here in Thailand, I'm just literally uh, just living the dream. That's what I'm doing here. Um, uh, I do a bit of work every day, um, but the beauty of this type of business is you can you can work from anywhere in the world. So you don't have to be tied down to one place or another. Um, and uh, I mean, if you want to check check it out, go to econ econ fire. Uh, dot com forward slash DSL um, and if you use our referral link we give you our uh, like a 10 part accelerator bonus and half an hour's coaching with with me Benny or Len um, you know to set you set you, set you right on your way uh, but it's it's an epic way to it's an epic way to live um, that's for sure you, you know um, uh, a couple of my mates uh, you know they just fly here and there and everywhere i mean they're generally based out of asia but it's it's a it's an epic way to live because i mean at the moment he's in the air on the way to saigon i mean uh they're not tied down they're not necessarily tied down to the nine to five grind eh? you know it's just it's a, it's a hard way to live the nine to five grind so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up guys uh like i said go and check out econfire.com forward slash dsl uh, and see how we sort of made a living. What do you got there? I'm doing the that in India for a digital mobad starting a f food travel business. Yeah, sweet man. No, that's wicked. Good on ya. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, stepping outside the box, boys. That's 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 really good. Um, well done, Todd. Heaps happy for you, man. And like I said, go and check out one of those cricket games. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna wrap it up. Have a good day. Um, we're on every day, so you know. Uh, Tune in and uh, tune in, uh, you know, check out what we've got to say, have a laugh. Uh, you know, we're always, uh, we're out here, yeah, we're always out here uh, living the dream. So, all right, guys, cheers. Yep.